guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here. I want to show you today quickly of how you can get away with using either a small generator or in a situation when you've had a shutdown in your solar system, low batteries and things like that, the best way to get it restarted again. Now, one of the main things to do and where a lot of people go wrong, they literally just grab their generator cord, they plug it in and they leave the whole house on. And what happens is the generator keeps overloading and things like that because the fridges and freezers and everything's trying to come on all at once. Everything else you had plugged in before your, your blackout happened. And it just overloads everything. Now, what I highly recommend is come to your board. And this board here is quite a simple board. You would just turn off your main switch. So we actually just killed all the power to the house. So the house actually has no power, no 240. The other thing you could do, you could actually just turn your inverter off, which is probably likely it's going to be off anyway because the batteries are flat. So then you want to plug your generator in. Once your generator is plugged in, you then want to turn on your input to your generator. So you want to turn the input to the generator on so the 240 comes through. And then flick your inverter back on. It'll take a little bit of time to come through for the inverter to sense the 240 coming through from the generator. We're using the grid here so it's likely going to happen a lot faster than using a generator. It's a bit easy to shoot the videos without a dirty diesel idling in the background. So as you see there, now the generator's coming on its charging. Now what I would recommend, most houses are going to have a lot of different circuits. I'd recommend just wait 10 or 15 minutes, let some charge get back in your battery and bring your battery back up. The reality is the way these systems are set, if you have a 48 volt system and you're using the Power Plus batteries and the system shuts down, the inverter won't turn the power back on until it reaches 52 volts. Now you're better off just leaving it for 10 or 15 minutes, let your generator go flat out, put all the charge back in the batteries and bring the batteries up. Batteries perform their worst and they behave their worst at their lowest. They're just a bit like humans, you know, when we're low, we do things that we don't really want to do. So batteries are the same, they have feelings too. When a battery feels low, it just doesn't want to perform its best. So it's the same thing, let your battery come up a little bit. Once it's back up, you've got a bit of charge in it. We're going to pretend this video, we're going 15 minutes forwards. Then turn the 240 back on your house. Now I'd highly recommend when you do that, if you have a house with a lot of different circuit breakers on there, just turn your fridges on, turn your lights on, and slowly, gradually add it back in there. If you don't have a huge generator, because you're going to overload it with all the machines and stuff turning on, and then it's a vicious cycle. So then what happens is your battery's flat, everything turns down, you get angry, you want to call Mike and say, hey Mike, you sort this out. <laughs> so something to think about, guys, just take your time, when the batteries are flat, give it a little bit of time because like I said, batteries are just like humans. When they're at their lowest, just like we are, we don't perform our best. And you want to let your battery get a little bit of charge in it before you turn everything on. So I hope this has been helpful, guys. On your board, you'll have stickers all over it saying the shutdown procedure or stuff like that. It's just that simple. We want to recap there. Turn the 240 off to the house so it's off. Plug your generator in. Turn your generator input on. If it's a manual one, if it's an auto start one, you shouldn't be having any of these issues anyway. But this is probably a better video. Watch the people have auto starts because when your auto start fails, this is the procedure you want to go through. So thanks for watching. And any comments or questions, just put in the link in the description below and we can get back to you. Thanks and have a great day.